The following video footage will demonstrate how a plastic bottle trap is used to capture small fish along the edges of a stream channel. These bottle traps, you just put them along the edge of the creek channel in uh, what look like attractive habitats for juvenile trout. And uh, we'll see what we caught in this first one here. And we got a bunch of fish. I don't know if there's any trout in there, but I'll just uh, put my glasses on and check. Put a little water in my container. Got to use a fine mesh net because some of these uh, fish are pretty small. The uh, stickleback have uh, spawned already this year, and uh, there's all kinds of them in this system. I'll just put these stickleback. Those are all stickleback, no trout. And you got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. These are the uh, five spine stickleback. So anyway, I'll release those guys and reset the trap. And re clean them out. Make sure that you've got a little bit of gravel in the bottom, smaller diameter gravel, just for a bit of ballast. And you put them under water. You put the cylinder under water before you engage the comb. And then just use flat rocks to secure it. And the trap is set. Oops. Okay. The bottle traps can be used to trap minnows, such as these long-nosed dace that were trapped as part of a removal trapping program. These small rainbow trout were also captured during the same trapping program. This diagram shows how a plastic bottle trap is constructed from a 2-liter plastic soft drink bottle. The PVC tape is used to uh, help identify the traps. Uh, by making them stand out in the stream channel. Uh, PVC tape is basically electrical tape. On the bottom of the cylinder uh, we drill uh, some small holes uh, to allow for circulation of water so that the uh, captured trout uh, don't asphyxiate. The following diagrams show how trap placement is made along the stream channel. In some cases, uh, shoreline grasses are used to anchor the uh, traps uh, using a number 88 elastic band around the center part of the trap. You can also use flat rocks. You can also use sticks to help anchor the traps to the stream bank. Use your pause button if you want to take a little more time to examine some of these diagrams. The following photos show some typical trout trap sets along a small trout stream.
This is the uh, camera housing that I use for my close-up photography. You can see a small trout in the uh, viewing lens at the front of the bracket. 